guys, welcome back to Move Skill. Zach and I here are with one of our favorite pieces of equipment, the Airdyne. Uh, we have a ton of questions that come, uh, come in about output. What, what's the intent of a workout? Why do we prescribe rest periods? A big part of what we do is train energy systems. When we start talking about energy systems, we want to impart you guys with a sense of you have a dial. That dial, if you cranked it up to 100%, you couldn't hold that 100% very long for that given time, like say 10, 15 seconds, 30 seconds, a minute, whatever. When we start talking about 70%, you could hold that for a really long time. We want you to develop the ability to regulate your output. If we say 60 or 70 or 80%, we know that that's at a brisk pace, but it's certainly doable. For example, Zach right now is cycling along, probably at a 60%. Not, not very hard at all. He, it, he doesn't have to really physically exert himself. So when we bump into those higher outputs, we, don't, we can't last the same amount of time. Like if I asked you to sprint down the street, right? you get 50 meters, maybe 100 meters in, all of a sudden you have to move way slower. We've maxed out that energy system. So with output, we're gonna try to take, and we're gonna tell you, hey, we want you to leave a little in the tank sometimes, or we want you to go all out. What, how, to how do we develop that, 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 that governor or that dial? We're going to take and we're going to do something with Zach right now that kind of exemplifies what we're looking for. I think you can probably hear just a little bit about, or a little bit of that bike. It's not moving very fast. When I tell him to, we're going to go for 30 seconds. We're going to take and we're going to explore that first part of the energy system that we always run into. It's the same thing that allows us to lift heavy weights, be explosive, this CP, um, CP energy system. I'm not going to get in too much into that, but we can feel what that does to us. It only really lasts for 10 or 15 seconds, then we dive into the second part of this energy system. I want you guys to listen to the difference as we start going. Give me just a second here, I'm going to set my watch. So I'm going to give him a 3, 2, 1, go, and he's going to wrap this thing up at 99%. 100% for this time frame. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Ten seconds in. Fifteen seconds in. Twenty seconds in. Three, two, one, time. <laughs> this machine is horrible, by the way. <laughs> we've done everything that we've thrown every bit of work his system can handle at him in 30 seconds. So when we start talking about energy systems and you being able to develop a dial, if we say go at 80% for 30 seconds, we don't want you dying like you just did there. Did you hear that shift where everything was real high pitch for a second, that real high turnover rate? All of a sudden it died way down. We want you guys to be able to sustain a pace where it's 80% of that, but we don't hear that discernible drop off. You should be able to sustain the same pace, the same output each time. So when we start diving into this stuff, this is, this is a great, great example of it. He should be able to sustain whatever that is for that given time frame. If he operates at 90%, we shouldn't hear that drop off, right? He should be able to handle that entire thing. If we say go 100%, we're testing the energy system. We're testing you. So guys, as we take and we develop these dials, I want you just to be aware of how you feel. Zach, how do you feel? <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> okay. Be aware of how you feel. Uh, that fast part of the energy system uh, development is gonna feel horrible. It's gonna be very hard. The other one should, be, should feel very sustainable over the long term. So we're going to play with these variables. We're going to dial you up between 70 and 80 and 90 percent, and occasionally we're going to ask you to tip tip that out 100. Good. Yeah. All right.